Hi there, welcome back to Lahi Labs and today we'll be setting up our cyber range uh, hypervisor. This is a continuation of our lab where we are setting up your own personal home lab with a full uh, domain controller and also uh, some monitoring systems so you can actually practice your security skills in a safe environment and also try to simulate what the real world looks like. This lab will give you uh, some hands-on experience on what a security operation center should look like. We will install a lot of uh, IDS and IPS systems and you'll be able to simulate uh, some attacks and see what it looks like in the IPS or IDS system. So in this one, we're going to be installing our hypervisor, which is the ESXi. And the goal of this lab is to end up uh, with everything running on one device. So we are going to start by uh, just going to VMware website. If you have, don't have an account, you need to create an account, log in and download the installer from here for VMware ESXi um, 6.7, I think. So if you go to the download section, you can see that um, we can go to the vSphere and um, you can just choose, I am every license for the enterprise version. So that's what I go for, but you can download any of these for free. And you can also uh, just test them for 60 days. There are ways to renew that license that are online or just leave a comment for me in the uh, comment section and I'll tell you how you can uh, renew that license. After that, you want to install your ESXi, which is very simple if you just uh, go on Google how to install you get all kinds of hits from the internet so I'm not going to show you that part I'm going to assume that you can just go online find any link and there is a lot of tutorials of people showing you how to install this so while, once you're done installing it you end up with something like this um, you end up with on this screen where it will tell you that it got its IP address via DHCP if it's already plugged in to your home. What you want to do is make sure that you go and um, just put a static IP on this one by uh, pressing F2 as you see there. Put your password. Then after that, you can just go in here and set up your password, network, make sure that everything in here uh, goes from DHCP to static. And once you're done, we should be able to log into this device. Uh, it says uh, the IP address for mine is uh, 192.168.5.71. So if I go here, 192.168.5.71 It's going to give you that error. You want to make sure that you can sign in as root and the password that you set, you set it up for. For me, Okay, try that again. You you will get these errors, and um, you just need to find a way to um, go past that. So it looks like it doesn't want to work for me in Chrome. One nine two to one six eight dot five dot seventy one. Let's try one more time. We're getting that error not secure. Video detail. Okay. See, now I'm in. So once you're in, the next thing that we need to set up in the next video is our networking. We'll be adding um, our VLANs that I showed you guys in this video right here. We'll be adding those VLANs. Um, 
right here in the networking section so that will be in the next uh, video so stay tuned for that if you haven't subscribed just subscribe and we'll keep uh, these videos going by the time we're done with this you have your own personal cyber security range or uh, security op operation center we're going to install uh, snort bro and all those are uh, kind of fun um, IT security software so just stay tuned